Okay, the, so the materials that you're going to need are as follows. A two liter soda bottle with the label removed. Uh, you need some sort of a, uh, a dowel. Um, so you could use a handle from a broom. You can use a pipe. Here's a white PVC pipe. This is a gray conduit pipe. You may have something like this lying around the house in your basement or the garage. Um, broom handle, however, will work well. Um, you have a hot glue gun, extra glue sticks. Uh, you're going to need some cardboard, uh, not corrugated. Uh, this is uh, cardboard from a uh, shoe box or packing box for clothes. Uh, or the best material would be matting for photography. You can buy that at an um, art store. A ruler, a Sharpie marker, ping pong ball, string, uh, paper, regular white paper, a file folder, scissors, sandpaper, and masking tape. Okay, next what you want to do is take the soda bottle and figure out the circumference. Take a piece of string, wrap it around the soda bottle, cut the string to the circumference length, and then divide it into thirds. You'll need the thirds because what you're going to want to do is divide the bottle for the thin location. After you've cut the string to the circumference of the bottle, now divide it into equal thirds with the Sharpie marker, place a black mark on the string. On the Next, take a piece of tape and put it on one end of the string and attach it to the soda bottle at any location. Roll the string around the soda bottle and tape the other end. Next, go back to the black marks you've made and put a dash on the soda bottle at those locations. After you've removed the string from the soda bottle, go and find a corner in the room and place a piece of masking tape down the corner. Then take the soda bottle and align one of the marks against the piece of tape holding it in the corner. Take the Sharpie marker and draw a vertical line down your soda bottle. Repeat this for all three marks. This is where the fins will be placed and this ensures a perfectly vertical line on the soda bottle. Next, to ensure that the glue adheres to the bottle, what you want to do is take a piece of sandpaper and sand right over the lines that you've just drawn with the Sharpie marker. Don't worry if you remove some of the line. You can simply take the marker and repeat over the line a second time. So next we're going to mark where the fins are going to be located. Your fin design can be one of your choice. Uh, here we have one fin design made out of cardboard and we want to put it on the side of the bottle. Take a ruler, set the uh, bottle with its cap facing downward, take a marker and mark the bottom fin location. I will mark this at 12 centimeters. Next, fill the bottle uh, full of water. You want the bottle completely filled to the top. The water is going to make the bottle rigid um, as we work, as we continue uh, building the rocket. Okay. Apply a bead of glue to the edge of one of the fins and apply it to the position that you previously marked on the bottle. So once all three fins have, have dried for a few minutes, apply a bead of glue along the edge, each edge of the fin. Front edge and the rear edge.
Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to build the nose cone for your rocket. The nose cone is made out of two sheets of paper. Take two sheets of paper, eight and a half by 11, and overlap them roughly by about four inches. What you'd like to do is then tape it so that both sheets of paper are taped together. Next, as we mentioned earlier, a broom handle or a piece of three quarter inch PVC tube works very well. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take the paper and roll it around the piece of PVC tube. You'd like to roll it as tight as you possibly can. Once you roll it, then take a piece of tape and tape one end, tape the center portion of it, and then tape the end portion of it. The important thing here to remember is not to get any tape on the PVC pipe. If you do, you'll have a lot of difficulty in removing the nose cone. Once the nose cone is set on the piece of pipe, take a roll of masking tape and put one piece around the top of the paper and cut it off. Do the same at the bottom edge of the nose cone. Then, after these two pieces of tape are installed on the paper, you're going to take the tape and hold it at a 45 degree angle and begin taping down the nose cone. Try to overlap the tape as you go down. Work your way all the way to the bottom in this manner and then back up. Once you've completed going down in one direction with the tape, as we mentioned, you're going to want to go back up the other direction. What you'd like to do is crisscross and now go on an opposite 45 degree angle all the way back up the tube. Once again, try to overlap the masking tape by about half the width of the tape. Trying to pull the tape as tight as you possibly can all the way up. Once you've completed the second row of tape, you're now ready to remove it from the tube. Grab one end of the tube and twist and pull at the same time, being careful not to squeeze the paper tube with your hand too tight and crushing it. Once the paper tube is removed from the item, you're ready to now install it on top of your rocket. Take your rocket, which still contains the water, and take a piece of sandpaper and lightly sand the top. This is where the nose cone will attach to the top of the rocket. Take the glue gun and put a bead of glue right directly on the paper all the way around and then place the nose cone vertically on top of your rocket. Be careful that the nose cone is perfectly plumb. You may have to hold for a few seconds until it dries. Once you've got the nose cone dried on top, take the glue gun, holding it about a half an inch on top, and let the glue pour down the side of the nose cone onto the top of the bottle. This will ensure a stable nose, a stable nose. My apologies. Mr. Belush and Mr. Can said that I lightly sanded the tip of the rocket. Please remember, when you're sanding the tip of the rocket right here, or the base of your bottle, sand it thoroughly so that the glue adheres properly. Now we need to make a nose pattern or a nose a transitional part for our rocket. You'll find these patterns either in Mr. Belosh's room or Mr. Koenig's room or in Mr. Can's room. What you need to do here is you need to place the paper. Once you've gotten the nose pattern from the locations in the rooms, now it's time to cut it out using scissors and a half of a manila folder. Take your nose pattern. Place it down on the manila folder. Hopefully you've prepared some tape for yourself to make it easier. Tape your pattern onto the manila folder. And now your time, now it's time to cut. Cut along the lines. lines. Now that you've cut out your pattern, you need to recreate the dotted line matching the corner on the pattern with the corner on the manila folder. So take your ruler go from corner to corner.
To make your life a little simpler, take your middle of foil that you've cut, your cone, and run it along the edge of the desk to help curve the paper for you. Then, take a piece of paper, and I forgot to do this the first time, which is why I took the 20 minutes to do this. It's tape, by the way. Piece of tape, okay, do it again. No, it's okay, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna, this is gonna be on the video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is tape, not paper. <laughs> Fold it around. Overlap it. Overlap it. Thanks, Mr. Belosh. Invading my personal space. Okay, now I have a two inch section of tape to hold it in place. And now I can take a longer piece of tape Cut a little longer to get to the end, wrap under, and then complete your cone. Good. Now it's time to put the cone on the top of your rocket. Slide it along the top like this, and if it's too snug or too loose, you're going to have to make an adjustment. If it's too snug, you're going to have to take a little bit of a little time here to cut it and now your diameter of your circle will be a little bit bigger okay if it's too uh, too large you're gonna have to correct with tape so we take the cone slide it down put it snug on the water part of, or the bottle part of your rocket and now you need to tape tape around the edges so, don't forget to tape the top of your cone as well. At this point, the water has been emptied from the bottle and the cap has been taken off the bottle. And now we have to set up our parachuting device. Part of our project is to see how long it takes for the rocket to get to the ground, and we need a way to slow down that process. So our method of choice for the parachute involves the cap and a ping pong ball. And as you can see, a drop of glue has been placed inside the cap, and a string about 12 to 14 inches long has been placed into the glue. It'll hold very quickly. The other end of the string is attached to a ping pong ball, again, drop of glue, and the string is in the glue. At this point now, you take a glue gun, and you put a little bit of glue ringing the outside, if I can do it. And the outside of your cap. Take your cap. Press it on the top of your cone. Then, grab some tape. And tape around the outside of your cap. And as I am proving, you're going to get glue on your fingers. The string now will be coiled up put into your cap like that. Now your rocket is ready for launching. We'll see you on Halloween.